chief executive of the Learning and Skills Improvement Service. And uh, I've been asked to talk about how far have we come with world skills and where do we go from here. Well, I've got a good way of judging how far we've come because I went to the uh, Japan event, which was four years ago now, and I can certainly say that this is bigger and better. It's much more engaged with the whole community of further education and skills. It's getting everybody uh, engaged in, in the whole uh, adventure of getting better through competitions. So I think we've come a long way. We've got more engagement, we've got more teams competing, we've got your young people hopefully winning, we don't won't know till Sunday, um, but it's the competition that's so important. We've got people operating at standards here which are really world class and we've got their tutors and trainers operating at standards which are really world class. So I think where we go from here is how can we learn from that? How can we pick up on the excellence that there is at this sort of event and embed it back into our systems? How can we set a benchmark which is above the norm? How can we build year on year on year towards more competitions, more excellence, higher standards, both for tutors and trainers, we have responsibility through ELSIS, through our qualifications and standards work, for setting the standards for tutors and trainers, um, and also then for the young people who are coming through. Young people need a huge amount of investment if they compete here in order to get from the, from the normal standard in this country to the world standard. Well, is that good enough? Or should we be striving for a world standard for far more of our young people? So I do hope that the world skills will operate as a spur to the future, to doing more and better. And I really am putting the, the will and the emphasis of uh, ELSIS behind that endeavour. And what can we learn from our uh, international uh, friends that are attending World Skills? Well, I think we can learn a great deal. I think that the uh, dedication of so many of our competitor nations to vocational learning, uh, how they go about vocational learning, how they embed it from an early age, how they see it as being of equal value and equal status to the academic route, something we've still got a long way to go on in this country. Uh, I think we're moving there, we're getting there, uh, Wolf Report and so on, there is more moves on the vocational front, um, but I do think that we do need to do international benchmarking, we need to learn from our international competitors, we need to go out and see what they're doing and learn from it, uh, and we can learn a lot from the people who are here as well.